Hello, this is Miss Mary with the, from the West Dallas Public Library with what caught my eye on the new book truck this week. And this is my last summer new book truck. And then in a couple weeks, we're gonna start what uh, caught my eye in the new book trucks in the fall. So there you go. All right, so let's start out with a very fun graphic novel. Um, it's by Svetlana Ch Chimakova. <laughs> and uh, anyways, it's called The Worm Books, Be Wary of the Silent Woods. It's the first, I believe, in the series. Um, it's a graphic novel where an ordinary town is like taken over by the magical creatures at night. And there are two cousins. Here are the two cousins. And they are wor worms, which are magical humans with uh, astrals that protect them. And here are the astrals. Um, it's a creepy story with a haunted mansion and missing children. And the setting is really great and the world building is really good. So I think that there'll be a lot more of these in the future. So, very good book. All right, the next book that caught my eye is an early chapter book. It's really great, it's called Monster and Boy. Um, it's about uh, this monster lives under this boy's bed um, and the monster loves the boy very much and has loved him for many years but they had never met. So one night they meet and they have a lot of adventures. So I recommend this one highly. This would also be a great family read aloud or a classroom read aloud. Um, it's very sweet and it's got an annoying little sister and I love siblings. So this is a great book for that too. All right, and I also really liked Pearl Goes to Preschool. Um, is there anything better than being a ballerina? Well, maybe, how about going to preschool? And this is great for um, families that have kids this age. Um, and it goes through what to expect in a typical day at a preschool. And so I recommend this for families that are having that transition. Okay. The next one is a nonfiction book. It's called Claude, The Story of a White Alligator by Emma Bland Smith, illustrated by Jennifer Potter. Um, I really like this book. It's uh, nonfiction, but it's also uh, in a picture book format, and it would be great for a read aloud for a family or for a classroom. And Claude is an albino alligator, and he was born on an alligator farm and within the first 24 hours, the owner saw him and grabbed him because the next day he would have been eaten. Uh, albinos just do not survive in the wild. So he first he goes to um, a zoo in Florida and then he ends up in California at the Academy of Sciences. You can go to their website and learn more about him if you want. Um, I love the end papers. You can kind of see why he wouldn't survive in the wild. And I also really like this, the pictures throughout, but then they also have a picture of the real cloth, which is a lot of fun. So I recommend this highly. Great book. Uh, oh, and here is a new reader. It's called Emma Every Day. There's two more books in the series, and I hope there'll be more in the future. Um, it's, let's see, it's by C.L. Reed, and it's illustrated by Elena Ayello. And um, Emma is deaf, and she signs and read lips, and she also has a cochlear implant. Um, and she is nervous about going to a party. And is her dress all right? Will her friend like her present? Uh, will there be anybody she knows there? And then on top of that, she has um, a problem of hoping that everybody can understand her and that she can understand everybody else. So it's a universal story about um, going to a party and but, but also teaches us a little bit about someone else's shoe. Okay, uh, what it's like to walk in somebody else's shoes. So I really like that and um, Oh, and there's how you spell Emma with sign language right there. 
and in the front they have the alphabet and in the back they also have some vocabulary of common words so this is a very very beginning chapter book here's a picture of what the text is like um, and then the word and the pictures I recommend this highly too this would be great for a family read aloud too all right this one is um, my Ananas Amatuck, and it is a great little story. Um, this would be great for bedtime, and it's about a little, it's from the view of the little baby in his mother's pouch that is in her um, coat and carries him around. Also, if you're looking for a story in our own voices, this would be a great pick. Um, it's very gentle and be great for calming kids down at the end of the night. So I really like this one. And we also have this fun one, Weird Wild Things, illustrated by Sam Caldwell. And it's exploring the incredible world of animals. This is a great book for kids that like nonfiction, that don't, so, they don't want a narrative structure perhaps, or a character development, they would just like facts. You can dip in and out of this, no problem. You do not have to sit down and read the whole thing at once. Um, it, it's just a lot of fun. So it's for kids that like weird but true story, weird but true books, um, Guinness World of Records books, and that's interested in animals. It's a lot of fun. I recommend it highly. Okay, and our last one, oh, Talking is Not My Thing. This is the second book in the series, um, and it's by Rose Robbins, and I just love this book because it's about a, two siblings, a sister who is nonverbal artistic and the brother who um, watches out for her, but is, is not perfect. Of course he's not perfect. So I just love these books about, I love books about siblings. This is the second in the series. I hope they have another one. And here they are. So the girl, the sister saying, I don't speak, but my brother finds it easy. And the brother says, come inside, it's nearly dinner. So it's, um, the first book was from the brother's perspective. This book is from the sister's perspective. It'd be a great um, book to read as a family, just for a storybook, and to also help us all understand each other. All right. So that is the last um, book for this talk. Thank you so much for joining me. This is our last summer book talk, and then in a couple of weeks, we'll start our fall book talks. So I really enjoyed this summer and getting to know the new books on the new book cart, and I hope you did too. I will uh, see you soon at the library. Bye-bye.